Hey guys, it's Krista with Cubicle Blindness, and I'm here with another book haul. How many out there could have bet on that? Seriously. So this week, I had a very roller coaster of a week. It was book related, it was up and down. So, as you guys know, I, um, showed you guys my Harry Potter box set that I got that's in like the trunk and they're all matching hardbacks. Well the story behind that is I actually initially asked my mom to get me the um, matching set but that I wanted the um, UK covers because I thought they were prettier and she ended up getting me that instead. She travels a lot so I thought she was the best person to ask because she goes over there. Well, anyway, she ended up just sending me that box by mail. And although I, I was very excited and happy to have a matching set, after so long, you know, I was still finding myself pining for these books. So on my birthday, which was October 23rd, I gave in and ordered myself off the book depository the box set of the ones that I wanted. And I came in today. So happy Friday for me. Wonderful news. They're beautiful, guys. Nerd moment. I'm going to show you my new Harry Potter set. And I really do... I just love these covers. I don't... I don't know why they're... I think they're the adult covers. But... I don't know. I love these pictures. So I'm very, very excited to have these in. And... Even though I told myself that I wasn't going to read this series again until I got some other books read, I'm really tempted to pick these up again. But I have about 100 on my to-read list, so, well, according to Goodreads, I have about 213 on my to-read list, but I only own, anyway, I own a million. So I'm very excited that I got these today. So my roller coaster moment was that while I had such goodness arrive, the book depository told me that I was not able to get any of the other ones on my wish list because I, I, the rights, there were pub publicity rights or something regarding those books because I'm in the United States. So unfortunately, they weren't able to send me anything else, even if they were available. I wanted the Hunger Games and I wanted uh, the red and white Twilight set. So kind of had my heart broken. But anyway, this was a crazy week. I had three packages come in, plus a trip to Barnes, which ended up spending double the amount that I set aside to have, which of course happens, as we all know, because we're addicts, right? So, from bookcloseouts.com, I got scratch and dent copies of Academy X. And really, you can't even tell they're scratch and dented. Ironside. The Vampire Diaries. Bad Girls Don't Die. The Best Laid Plans. The American Boy. And the Academy. Oh, one more. And the Blue Girl. Okay, so I had that coming in, and I honestly, I did not expect that to come in for another week. But sometimes I wish I could reach through the phone and kind of spank them. Because guess what they did? They sent a coupon with my box. And I had to use it, so I went online and ordered some more. Anyway. <sighs> then I got my order in from Barnes & Noble. This one was a um, purchase with a gift card, so it wasn't my own money. Oh, whoops, one more scratch and dent. I missed that. You can tell why it was only $3. Okay, sorry about that. And then I got an order from Barnes & Noble, and this was all in their clearance, so I got Crash Into Me, Wake, The Secret Life of Sparrow Delaney, and Sundays at Tiffany's. An order from Amazon possessions and that's everything that I ordered and it was just totally coincidental 
they all showed up this week, but it's awesome. Co my most epic reason for doing this haul is I went to Barnes & Noble with the intention of spending $30 because that was what I set for myself. And I didn't do it. I went in with wanting two books and then gave myself the little bit of leeway with money to buy a third, depending on if there was any clearance items or not. And, eh, didn't work. But I love every book that I got, and I can't wait to read it. Got, um, Rampant. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> got distracted there. I got Dark Secrets. I got Graceling. The Summoning. The Hollow. Daily Little Secrets. And now this one. I had a Gina moment from YA Friction, Fiction Freaks where she's mentioned once that she likes her copies, her books, brand new. No dents, no scratches, no anything. But sometimes when she picks up a book, it's like she already owns it. It calls out to her and the spirit possesses her. And I, I kind of laughed when I heard her say that. But guess what? I had it happen to me. Infinite Days. I picked it up and it, it was on my to buy list. I just didn't go there intending to buy it. And this shimmering cover in those bright lights of the store, it was just so shimmery and glossy and pretty and I couldn't put it down. My hand literally was like glued to it where I just, I couldn't put it back <laughs> on the shelf. It was like mine, it possessed me. I That is it's a beautiful, if you guys haven't seen this cover in person, you're missing out. This is a, talk about covers selling a book. I'm sold, honestly. So, anyway, I got a couple of books from the library as well, which um, I should have done by this, the end of the weekend, and I have some reviews coming up, and I started a new... Um, YouTube channel. I don't have any videos up yet because I'm not exactly sure how I want to use it, but it's called Open at Close 23. And, uh, not exactly, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how to use it. So, anyway, I've got it there. I'll be thinking about it. And if I do anything with it, I'll let you guys know so you can check me out. And thanks to my new subscribers. I love you and appreciate you and glad that you're here and uh, I love comments so uh, I guess that's it for today so uh, what'd you get in your mailbox or at the store or at the charity shop or wherever you went this week what are you reading 